it's quite uh, customary, ordinary. The, uh, as soon as a formal period of meditation is supposed to begin, the mind immediately starts thinking, oh, I should get into the meditation posture, I should sit up straight, now I need to concentrate, I should do this, I should be like that. However, it's always helpful before trying to do anything with the body or the mind with respect to meditation to establish a ground of awakened awareness of this present experience. Before we try to do anything with the body, notice how it feels. Is the body comfortable, uncomfortable, warm, cool? heavy, light, establish a, a quality of appreciation, awareness of just how the body feels, without an idea of how it should be or shouldn't be, just how is it at this moment, this Sunday morning in Queensland, how does the body feel? There's no right or wrong way for the body to be feeling, but what is being done is a, there's an appreciation of how the body is at this moment. It's exactly 100% this way. Comfortable or uncomfortable, aches or no aches, heavy, light, cool, warm. It's like this, here it is. The body feels exactly this way. So the starting point is awareness. Rather than me trying to fix something, change something, to be some way or to stop being some way. Similarly, what's the mood of the mind? Sleepy, alert, sad, excited, confused, peaceful. In the same way, there's no right or wrong mood for the mind to be producing. This is simply appreciating the starting point, the material that's being worked with like a potter feeling the clay or a baker kneading the dough. Today, at this moment, it's like this. This is the material we're working with, the place that we're starting from. The mind is this way, really sleepy, excited, preoccupied with thoughts, bright and calm, however it might be. Take a moment to appreciate, to be aware. The mood of the mind is exactly this way in this moment.
It's very ordinary, very customary for us to begin a meditation period by that sense of uh, I should sit up straight. Shouldn't be sitting here slouching, straight in the back, upright posture. That's the, the way it should be. Or if we bring attention into the body and we notice, wow, I'm really tense. I need to relax. Rather than that adjusting of the, post <coughs> adjusting of the posture coming from a, an attitude of I should. I shouldn't be this way, I should instead be that way. That's the approach to Dhamma practice. It's basing practice on self-view, my body, how I should be, how I shouldn't be, what I should do to get that in the future. So instead of basing practice upon self-view and the I-making and mind-making habits, instead there can be a trusting in awareness. It's a self-adjusting system. Nature, the Dhamma, is a self-adjusting system, process. So if you notice that the spine is, is slumped, your posture is in a slouched, slouching mode, rather than acting on the thought, I should sit up straight, my back is really bent. Just bring attention to your spine and let the quality of awareness have its own effect. Feel that slouching, slumping sensation. Bring awareness to that. And notice how the body adapts, adjusts on its own. You don't have to do anything. Awareness, awakened awareness, has its own effect. It's a self-adjusting system. The body straightens. The spine lengthens to its own comfortable, natural limit. Awareness is the transformative agent. This is what helps to bring everything into balance. Or if you feel that the spine is really tense, your shoulders rigid and tight, your neck stiff. Again, without acting on the thought, I should relax, I'm really uptight, I'm so tense. Bring awareness to that feeling of tensing stressing, let the awareness have its own effect. Feeling that, knowing that, that tensed quality, the body relaxes on its own. It's a self-adjusting system. And awareness is the agency of balance. In a similar way with mindfulness of breathing. It doesn't need to be that anapanasati, mindfulness of breathing is a thing that I am doing to get some result for me. 
Radha, we're breathing already. The body's been breathing since we were born. So rather than me doing mindfulness of breathing, let's let the feeling of the breath simply be at the center of attention. Without a sense of me trying to do something or get something. Let that rhythm of the breathing be at the center of attention. It's been going on our whole life. It's nothing special. It's not me doing the breath, but rather letting the mind's awareness settle upon what's been happening this whole lifetime. Ever present, completely ordinary. It's like driving a car comfortably along with the white lines to your left and your right, just rolling along easily on a country road, not in a hurry. It's the in-breath and the out-breath, the white line to the left, to the right, just rolling along at ease, not in a hurry. Let the, letting the breath be the guidelines for attention. So if we drift too far to the left, wander off into dullness or sleepiness, noticing that, let the attention adjust, wake up, come back to the center. If we drift off into busyness and the mind chattering, wandering, thinking about the past and future, again, noticing that, feeling that, let the awareness Bring the attention back to the center, resting easily with the present reality. <clears throat> 